items of clothing that I want to flip today. The first one is this one piece um, with like a stretchy fabric on the uh, bodice area and then it's just shorts down here. This piece of clothing reminds me of something that all the fashion bloggers were wearing in 2017 and this was the closest thing I could find to it. So I'm just going to turn this into a top which is similar to something that I've seen on the Reformation website where it has this stretchy thing and then it has like a small peplum detail at the bottom and then I'm probably going to open these straps up and place them a little bit wider so it opens up the chest area. I just think that looks a lot more flattering than these 11 year old style straps that are like in the middle. <laughs> the next thing I have are these jeans which this is probably my most ambitious flip. So essentially there are some jeans on the Reformation website which have, um, instead of back pockets, it has like a denim star etched into the back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to alter these jeans because I think the waist is a bit big on me but I can't remember if it's fine or not. And the final thing I have to flip is this jumpsuit which you probably can't see that well but in the trial clip you'll see it much better and essentially what I want to do is I want to turn this into a dress and I kind of want to do a pretty high slit similar to some other things I've seen online so this jumpsuit actually has pockets which is really great but I'm worried when I do the slit I might have to like take out the pockets because of like how high I want the slit to go so we'll see how it goes. Anyway I just really wasn't a fan of this kind of weird undershort thing where like you can see the shorts and then the rest of the leg is just the lace and it's see-through. So I think turning this into a dress will be a lot nicer and a bit more modern. So I hope it goes well. Let's get started. Let's begin now. Okay, so the aim of this is basically to take these straps and like zhuzh them outwards a bit. So I just think if I could move the straps then I can avoid having this weird like armpit thing. I don't know. Okay so here I am with my first victim. Um, before you get started I would recommend like putting a cloth down otherwise you're just gonna get thread fibers everywhere and then your mum is gonna resent you and all your DIY projects getting threads all over the carpet that she just cleaned this morning. I just have this mattress cover because I'm glamorous like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice along here with my fabric cutting scissors and um, leaving like a bit of fabric because I think I want to leave like a small peplum detail I think it could be cute and then I'll hem that so let's get the slides in okay well luckily on this fabric it has these grids so I can just cut along like the top of one of those and that should be fine okay here we go I just want to preface this by saying I have no sewing skills whatsoever um but let's just do this and see how it goes and hopefully I don't ruin all my clothes <laughs> oh wow this looks so much cuter already do I even need to hem this oh my gosh <laughs> I feel like I still cut it too short so I'm gonna have to do a small hem because I feel like it's gonna fray so I need to get some pins and then I'm gonna have to start like hand sewing the hem so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold over like two squares. This is very technical. Like this, and then I'm gonna pin that into place and I'm just gonna go along the whole thing, holding over two squares and pinning it into place. Okay, so I'm gonna use my seam ripper to take out these straps. And basically I've already turned the shirt inside out and I'm just going to... Okay, so it's coming out pretty good. I have finished taking off both straps and I've just marked it with a safety pin um, where I want the new strap to go. So it should end up here. I'm gonna take it off and match up the back by just laying it flat on the ground. Um, so hopefully it will go well. Okay, so I've lain it flat and, lain? I have lain it flat? I have laid it flat and I have safety pin the other side. And to make sure the straps are even, I'm just gonna fold this over like this and then line up the straps and this way I can make sure the straps are going to be the same length up here as well. Okay, it's all finished. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so victim number two is the jumpsuit. I guess the first thing I need to do is separate out the trouser legs so they're all the same. So I'm just going to flip it inside out. Um, and then start ripping out the seam at the crotch and then just like head down Woods. I never even realized how the length of this is so appalling like why is it three-quarter length? It is like the most unflattering length 
for a pant on a person, in my opinion. So I got bored of unhemming everything, so I just took like a pair of scissors to the crotch. Um, and then, oh, oh, there's a huge rip drip here. Let me just get that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like the smallest dart possible in the front here. And then in the back, I'm also just gonna try and take like the smallest dart possible. Can you see my underwear, bro? Okay. <laughs> So I've just folded it over. It's pretty difficult to tell, but this is the back of the dress. You know, I've just folded this over and I'm just gonna sew like straight down the dart. I think that's how it's done, so wish me luck. So as you can see, it's taken on kind of like a pencil skirt vibe as of now. And so it's already scandalous with all this see-through lace. I don't know if my super dangerous slit is a good idea anymore. Um, you know, I've come this far. But let's just add the slit. Okay, so I want the slit on the left side because that's my favorite knee, so. Um, and then I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna mark like right where the shorts thing is. So that's like as high as my slit can go. And then I'm gonna slice up and then I'm gonna um, take like this, I'm gonna fold the seam over. I'll just show you, this isn't useful. So I've marked the top here of the dress with the safety pin and then I'm just gonna cut straight up. So I've cut the slit I'm just gonna fold the slit in on both sides and kind of make a hem. And I'm gonna mark that with pins now and then I'll sew it. Okay, so this one's all done. I think it came out pretty good. So this is my third and final victim of the day. It's definitely my hardest project and I'm kind of regretting leaving it till last since I'm kind of tired out, but I'm really excited to try this one. So in the picture of the jeans that I saw, it kind of looked like the star was underneath the actual like back of the jeans. And also the star was a lighter color of denim. So what I'm gonna do is take off the pockets from the back of these jeans and then use the flip side of the pockets, which is a slightly lighter color. And I'm going to make my star and then cut out a star shape in the butt and then put the pocket underneath and then stitch the pocket like underneath. You'll see when I do it. But let's get the seam ripper and let's turn the jeans inside out. Mother freaking! Oh wow, I'm literally unscathed. That hurts so bad though, ow. Okay, no, there's a bit of blood coming. Oh well, no big deal. We'll shake it off. Anyway, so we're going to flip the jeans inside out and then start to use the double seam ripper to um, take the pockets off. So I've taken off all of the pocket apart from like this part, like these two parts are just like little features to take off. I've used a pencil to draw like a rough star shape and I'm just gonna cut that out with some scissors. So I've got the star cut out, slightly misshapen, but still kind of cute. I'm just gonna put the pocket like and sew it onto the inside of the jeans and then on the outside it should look like, well, kind of like the star on the outside. Initially when I sewed the star on, I just did it freehand and so it ended up really crinkly and pretty bad. So here's a clip of me unstitching the star that I first sewed on. So the second time I tried to sew it on, I pinned everything into place. And then I did this kind of loopy stitch to stitch it on this time. And it still was kind of getting a bit saggy and like wrinkly in some places. So I ended up using an embroidery hoop to stretch the fabric to make sure I didn't get any weird creases. And then after I had finished the stitching, there was still a little gap that I wasn't able to cover. So I took the material from my other pocket and I used that to cover the small gap. I then trimmed off all the excess after the sewing was done and this is how it turned out. So I'm not sure if it's clear that I'm filming this on an entirely different day to when I started this video but I have finally completed the last thrift flip which are these jeans. So I hope you enjoyed the video, please like it or comment or subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time for another exciting video. Bye!